Here we have Elon's leg, my little landing platform, which we shall see in perfect glory coming down. Whoa! Whoa! No way. Okay. Right, stop. Whoa, look at that bend. Uh, right, anyway, it's down, so I'm gonna take it off and do some work on it. Down more, that's it. Just gonna tighten up the pressure on this and try and sort that bend out a tiny bit. Well, that was pretty scary, weren't it? That just shows what happens when you're too busy looking at the beautiful sky and the blade spinning round and not worrying about what you should be worrying about. I'm ready! Which you can see quite dramatically there. Nice and slow, yeah? Uh, up. Right, that'll do. Still there. So I just want to explain what happened there. Uh, because I don't have a hook in the floor here, the gin pole is at too much of an angle. It should be coming out at approximately 90 degrees. It still works fine, but what had happened is this, what I was using to hold that on had busted and that had just immediately flown down there and had let everything off. So. I'm just going to, like I say, I've got to take it down, take the top, take take the head off the motor, the blades, and then have a look at the tower and see if there's anything we can do. It's interesting that Elon's leg, in a way, saved the day. That M10 bolt must have been under some severe pressure, my friends, taking all that weight. And obviously it stopped the blades and the shaft hitting the ground. So, yeah, it's all a learning curve. And there was me saying how important it was to move my dogs out of the way. Uh, so don't have any dogs or small children running around while you're putting your wind turbine up. That is, I found that that's the only time I've ever had serious problems is user error. And that was 100% my fault for not double checking everything. This is the DIY clamp I made for the top, which isn't perfect and doesn't look that nice, but it's very strong and it's tightened up by these bolts. So, yeah, so let's get this bad boy off and make the improvements and then it'll be going back up. The slack in the chain will have to go. Approximately 70 mile an hour winds. That's just a reminder that's a 26 tooth cog. It's going to a 20 tooth cog on the uh, generator. So I've got this bad boy in the shed and it's on that stand I made for it out of scrap, which is quite handy. If I've got to do any work on it, it can just go on that. Firstly, I turn my attention to the top of the tower before it starts pouring down with rain. So my brothers, to make sure we don't have a disaster like that again, because that's happened twice, I'm gonna weld something on here, which will stop this going down. As I explained, the gin pole is at too low an angle. Uh, I can't, it's pointless me explaining now, but it needs sorting out eventually. So let's get that on there. This bit will do perfectly, which ironically is the bit that I removed off the gin pole cock up, so we'll use this. Come on, baby. Oh no, don't give up on me, baby. Hey. Right, you might think I'm a bit weird here, but when I do an awkward job, I always cut the welding rod in half because it makes it so much easier. I know everyone's going to think that's a bit strange, but trust me, it works. Okay. 
these aren't the right welding rods, but... That will do, it's a bit bulbous, but that ain't going nowhere, so now I can take this thing off. 